Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Good morning. Our opening hymn is number 463, Come to Me. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burdened, and I shall give you rest. Take up my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You, God, are my shepherd, I shall never be in need. Fresh and green are the meadows where you give me rest. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burdened, and I shall give you rest. Take up my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of God our Father, the Lord Jesus, be with you. As we gather this morning to celebrate the Eucharist, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you call us to be your disciples. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you send us out to proclaim your love to all the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us in our journey with your presence in the Eucharist. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that just as we celebrate the heavenly birthday of the Bishop St. Bonaventure, we may benefit from his great learning and constantly imitate the ardor of his charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. When Hezekiah was mortally ill, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came and said to him, Thus says the Lord, Put your house in order, for you are about to die. You, sh you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. O oh Lord, remember how faithfully and wholeheartedly I conducted myself in your presence, doing what was pleasing to you. And Hezekiah wept bitter bitterly. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah. Go tell Hezekiah, thus says the Lord, the God of your father David, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. In three days you shall go up to the Lord's temple. I will add 15 years to your life. I will rescue you in this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. 
I will be a shield to this city. Isaiah then ordered a poultice of figs to be taken and applied to the boil that he might recover. Then Hezekiah asked, what is the sign that I shall go up to the temple of the Lord? Isaiah answered, this will be the sign for you from the Lord that he will do what he has promised. See, I will make the shadow cast by the sun on the stairway of the terrace of Ahaz. Go back the 10 steps it has advanced. So the sun came back the 10 steps it had advanced. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response is, you saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. You saved my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. You, you saved, saved my, my life, life, O Lord, I, I shall, shall not, not die. die. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. You, you saved, saved my, my life, life, O Lord, Lord I, I shall, shall not, not die. die. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. You, you saved, saved my, my life, life, O Lord, Lord I, I shall, shall not die. die. Those live whom the Lord protects. Yours is the life of my spirit. You have given me health and life. You save my life, O Lord, I shall not die. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. May the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through the field of grain on the Sabbath, and his disciples were hungry, and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. And he said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry? How he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests could lawfully eat. Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. You would not have condemned these innocent men for the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First reading today is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Um, one of the frustrating things about the way the lectionary sometimes is put together is we only get small segments out of context and we don't have any idea what's all really going on. Today we hear about Hezekiah being very ill. Hezekiah was the king of um, Jerusalem, I guess you'd call it, Judah, uh, about the year 700. 
Um, he's very ill, he's about to die, or he thinks he's about to die. Or at least uh, the I Isaiah the prophet thinks he's about to die and says, you better, uh, you know, put your house in order. Um, you're about to die. Um, of the kings that followed um, uh, Roboam in Judah, the kingdom of Judah, Hezekiah is one of the two good kings that really tried to bring the people back to the true worship of Yahweh and reformed their lives. Uh, a lot of things are going on at this time. Uh, 22 years earlier, the Assyrians came down and conquered the 10 northern tribes, completely obliterated them from the face of the earth. Those people they didn't kill, they deported to different areas where they could never be reunited and they become known as the 10 lost tribes of Israel. Uh, meanwhile, the Assyrians under Sennacherib were coming down, harassing Jerusalem and Hezekiah and the people there, demanding a high tax and so on. Um, we use one of the readings from Isaiah at funerals uh, when the people are in panic as uh, the Assyrian kings are moving down. Uh, it's kind of interesting, some of the history background from other ancient authors. Uh, about this time, um, Sennacherib, um, the king of the Assyrians, was going into Egypt, but his advance was stopped there, apparently, by a bunch of mice. Uh, there was a mouse plague. And uh, apparently, the mice, the mice uh, started chewing up uh, Sennacherib's armies, uh, the, the strings on their bows and arrows, and the feathers off of their arrows. And uh, also, with the, with the mice came maybe something like the bubonic plague. And so Sennacherib had a retreat and lost many thousands of his troops because of the plague or whatever. So this is kind of all that's going on. Here's the guys trying to keep peace in Jerusalem. And now he himself is very sick. And after Isaiah tells him to put his house in order, he turns to the Lord in prayer and sincerity of heart. And um, God hears his prayer and through the prophet Isaiah tells him that God will grant 15 more years to his life. Uh, so it was a good experience for Hezekiah to have that, that warning and this desire to put his life in order. And sometimes things like that happen in our lives too. A sudden illness or whatever, um, or a disaster of some other sort, and suddenly makes us realize uh, our dependence upon the Lord and we need to make sure we always have put our lives in order with him. And we should do that every day because none of us knows uh, the day or the hour when the Lord will call us from this life. But if we live each day as best we can, if we try to change our, our bad habits and try to be faithful to the Lord, turn to him in prayer, spend our lives well, we don't have to worry whenever that day will come. Uh, we won't be caught off guard. The Lord will find us watching and ready and he'll be there to welcome us into the joys of his kingdom. So it's good food for thought for all of us to remember that each day, to always try to keep our lives in order by receiving the sacraments frequently, spending our life in prayer, avoiding some of the temptations in life that lead us astray, and in this way, uh, draw closer to the Lord. So as we reflect upon these uh, readings this morning, and um, we need to reflect on our own lives, where we're headed in life, and then do what we need to do so that if the Lord is coming at the end of this day or tomorrow or the next day, he'll find us watching, prepared, and ready. With that in mind, let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, help us always to be watchful and in prayer, ready to meet the Lord Jesus when he comes. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For Archbishop Lucas and the leadership of the Archdiocese of Omaha and their efforts to further the kingdom of God in new ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the help of the Holy Spirit, our journey together will lead us to a deeper faith and experience of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace throughout our nation during this time of turmoil, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people throughout the world who are suffering from extreme heat, flooding, fires, storms, and other natural disasters, 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that they will enjoy the eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for thanksgiving for the rain we have received and more favorable weather throughout the growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and attention, let us pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all who we called suddenly from this life to give our account of their life in the presence of the Lord, that they'll be fine, prepared to meet the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we offer this Mass this morning for the living and deceased of the Larry and Liz Reimers family. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right to give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, 
you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by his death who will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, St. Bonaventure, and all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children gather, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to other passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. In the body of Christ. The body of Christ. In the body of Christ. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, amen. Our communion hymn is number 329, <clears throat> Gift of Finest Wheat. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. So when you call your family, Lord, we follow and rejoice. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude. 
that you should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come give to us, O praising Lord, the bread of life to eat. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 542, From All That Dwells Below the Sky. From all that dwells below the skies, let the Creator's praise arise. Let the Redeemer's praise be sung through every land and every tongue. Eternal are thy mercies, Lord. Eternal truth extends thy word. Thy praise shall sound from shore to shore till sun shall rise and rest no more. Your lofty themes ye mortals sing in songs of truth and divinity. The great salvation Lord proclaims and shouts for joy the Savior's name. Sometimes the dots don't matter. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.